Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome back to the Ghost Slinger progression. Is it just me, or is this place like greener than usual? I could have sworn it felt more tropical before. So this episode, we're going to be completing the build, getting Spectre Path, all that stuff. Uh, I still haven't gotten Spectre, and it's the third episode, so I'm a little late on that. And we also have to go down to Layer 2, Floor 2 to get Dawnwalker later. Before we do all that, apparently there's a little quest I need to do if I want to get a special gun talent, and it's at Summer Isles, and I think that's the guy right there. Hello? Asus. Okay, this guy, this guy just told me to go away. Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do? Is this guy okay? This guy got his arm stuck in a rock. Well, I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to start this quest, but I'll take this bo like box of explosives. What I'm guessing is that I need to go and uh, t talk to someone at Summer Isles first, and then I go find him. This quest has probably been in the game for a while now, it's just that I don't play guns, so I never had the need to do it. I don't want to look on the wiki to figure this out, because, you know, it's always nice to try and figure stuff out yourself. But that also means I'm just gonna have to randomly run around talking to Summer Isles NPCs. Let me turn in this box real quick. Eh, nothing good. Maybe I need to talk to him because he talks about the dread. Nope, he, he does not give me the quest. Alright, who could give me the quest to go find a guy? Hey. Do you have a quest? You must not be around here. You live under a rock or something? Obviously, I know. I'm testing you. Uh, uh, Alright, okay. I have two charisma. Never mind. Two charisma, zero intel. My character isn't exactly the brightest. Maybe he's not around here. Maybe I have to look, like, outside. It might be somebody over in that cabinet. Cabin. Why did I say cabinet? What do you want? I'm busy. Need some help? Oh, this good for nothing owes our boss money. And I can't find him. Hey, he just told me to scram earlier. All right, I'll, I'll go I'll go take care of him. See here? No. Okay, his hideout probably isn't very close to the guy that's trying to look for him. Never mind, it is. Hey man, give me the money. Look, look. I don't really have the money. I'll help you get those fugs off my back. You, I mean, you'll help get those fugs off my back, right? I'll see what I can do and know you, bottom feeder. Hand over the money now or you'll be sinking to the third layer. Which option is going to get me the gun talent, though? That's what I'm aiming for. Hmm. This option sounds really funny, though. I really hope my decision doesn't, like, lock me out from getting the gun talent or something. I'll see what I can do. So... Now what I do? I just said I'll help him with something. Do I just go back to the guy? I just, I just rat him out despite promising to help him. Hey man, do you have the money? No, and you won't be getting your money. Alright, this is some kind of joke? Okay, so, so they're giving me a confirmation here. I, I don't think I like this. Like on one hand, I want to help the debtors. But on the other hand, the summer company literally, he, he owns, they owned all the guns in the damn place, bro. So if I make enemies with them, it's not going to be good for my character. All right, whatever. Oh, what? They can just up here? Okay. I might be making a grave mistake, but whatever. I don't really like the summer company. They have really absurd prices on bullets. You know what? Get your... Ooh, ah. I hope I don't have to grip them to actually, like, complete the quest or something, because I, I just threw that guy off a cliff. One down. Oh, and the summer company has declared me their enemy. And where's that last guy? Okay. That might have been a little overkill. What happens if I talk to him again? <laughs> what do you want? I've come to apologize. You know what? Let's see what happens. You got my money? 2,000 notes? That's all I have. You know what? I'll come back later. Hold on. I'm gonna go talk to that guy about it. Hey, bruh. <laughs> just fly. What? Okay. I. <laughs> bro, just jump scared me, bruh. Thank you. Uh, are, do we have to fight? Nah, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna just like take free grips, bro. Now I gotta think about whether I want to just betray this guy again. What did this guy do, though? Like, what did he buy to be in debt for two thousand notes? I need the gun talent, though. I'm sorry, man, but you're gonna have to hand over the money. Oh, papers for his ship? Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, I, I thought I was gonna have to do a little more, uh, a little more convincing than that, but he just, he, he, he just gave me it. Okay. <laughs> what the? Hey, what the? <laughs> I was like, what was that little thing in the wall? And he just shows up. I'm not quite sure how to feel about that, but we got the quest done. I've come to apologize. Take the papers. Do I get a gun talent? Hello? Wait, what? 
not it's not giving me the gun talent but it's giving me rep well i'm just gonna yeah let me, let me just farm summer company rep real quick infinite summer company rep glitch real <laughs> i want the gun talent man please then again whoever told me that could have been totally lying i have no idea if there is actually a gun talent but now i have really good rep with the summer company i am now considered the summer company hero i wonder if that gets me a discount welcome back to the castle <laughs> Keep making Rosen proud, yep. Sure sure did a lot of good by uh just taking that guy's boat. I didn't want to do this, but it looks like I have to actually look at the wiki for this. Five minutes later. Alright, I just checked the wiki. Apparently I have to get the talent in my talent hands, and it's not just automatic. So I did get the talent and a handful of rep while I'm at it. I wonder if Archmage is gonna patch this bug later. Summer Isles rep isn't exactly something that you really need. Alright, I was gonna go after a bounty, but I just realized my armor right now is still like what I had before. The little 20% uh, physical, 10% slash armor, which is nice. But that also means I get just, just get absolutely flangled. Yeah, befangled by mantras. You know, of course I could parry the mantras, but I also happen to stumble upon a hive tactician and a hive drone armor. Well, what the what is going on with my textures whoa whoa what is yo my roblox is bugging out <laughs> either that or i'm going crazy okay i think it stopped you know originally i was gonna go and kill a couple of dark owls to get dark feathers but then i realized i have to <laughs> hive drone so i might as well just do that well this makes my life a little easier there we go i have proper armor now See if i can level up my gale all right Oh wow, you can see the Void Eye cooldown and it's a whole 10 minutes? <laughs> Why? Is the Void Eye really that good? They have to put a 10 minute timer on it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and level up my mantras real quick. I already saw like the little UI change uh, a little while earlier. But I gotta say, this one's pretty cool. Much better than just spamming dialogue. Hey, what the- Okay. You know, I'm tired of this. Come here. I'm tired of people just punching me randomly in the damn Void Heart. Get over here. Yeah, get out of here, bruh. Get out of here. Go. Go. Run to the Void Mother. Guarantee you, he's just gonna TP out if I, like, start winning. Five minutes later. Are you for real? Yes. People did this 10 times already, bro. Alright, whatever. <laughs> well, you know what? That, that, that was a nice warm-up. We'll, we'll take it as a warm-up. Okay, oh alright, buddy. Oh, hell no. Well. Are you... I cannot catch a break in this damn place. Where did my health go? My health was just gone from that. Holy crap. Alright. Is this build even fair, bro? <laughs> Dude, what am I supposed to do against this, bro? <laughs> this guy doesn't fight me, he just runs. Yeah, get out of here. Come on, let me out. Yes! Screw that guy, bro. Not even close. Uh-huh, they really nerfed assassination. Boom! <laughs> like, a bar and a half gone. Okay, maybe it's the fact that I have like 400 HP at level 16, but we don't talk about that. Speaking of which, do you guys want me to start making more, like, competitively viable builds? Because right now, I usually just do, like, no Shrine of Order, basic, like, almost layer 1 builds. Because usually those are more fun to progress when you just like level up the guns and stuff. But if I want to make like viable builds, I would have to go like 94 to 2 Shrine of Order stuff. Which it would be fun to make stuff that's like more competitively viable. But also the progression might suffer because of it. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Kaido Galviji. That guy? Yeah, okay. You know, it sucks how we reinforce- No, come back! Seriously, now I gotta go find another bounty. You know, sometimes it's a real pain finding like bounties that aren't on the verge of escaping as soon as you arrive. That is- dude. Hey man, come on, let's go. What? <laughs> he just teleported. What are we having? The missing moves contest. Alright. Boom. I severely overestimated the amount of time I had to cast that. 
I did not even mean to block that vent, but it, I guess it works. Wind oh come on, man! Why does Wind Blade just sometimes do it? Does it? Sometimes it doesn't. That does not have to nearly the range I wanted to. That is a Cloudstone. Combo. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a lot closer and a lot more personal if I wanna hit Champion's Wofro. Okay, that reinforced- I mean, not, not reinforced, that revenge did not hit me. This guy needs to parry, by the way. I'm not even using my bullets, bro. Is Gun M1's really that hard to parry? Yoink. Okay. Yo, the combo might be real, GG's? Huh, maybe, maybe Gun M1's is really hard to parry. And maybe I need to actually start reloading during fights. Speaking of reloading, I have 5 bullets right now, That I need to get myself some more. If you guys were wondering why this video took so long to get out, it isn't because I had like another internet shortage or another like, whatever, or like my Roblox was crashing or anything like that. This time I just wanted to like, sync up my schedule back to like the weekends. Well anyways, I do want to head down to layer 2 soon though. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't have Chains of Perfection yet. Like by the time it was released, I was on break and I was like, nah. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother to get it. So I need to go Perfect Chaser or something to get that if I wanna go beat Efron. Well, within a reasonable time frame anyways. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and head down to layer 2 right now. Okay, it might be a little red in the server I just joined. Doesn't matter though, I'm just gonna go ahead and go down. Pick this up. Alright, I'm gonna have to go and get the spear and union hook, which is gonna be a little bit annoying. Did I bring food? Oh crap. I did not bring food. Alright, well, I'll finish up this run, and then I'll see if I can uh, go back up to the surface for, oh, ow, for some food. You know, maybe I should have taken Carnivore. Beat up this bone keeper real quick. You know, it's taking a while to kill this guy. Oh, no, I'm, I meant to press Q. No! <laughs> There we go. Up. Union hook. And might as well call this guy. Wait, what am I doing? Ooh, Evan Spear Hand Axe. That does absolutely nothing for me, actually. Okay, looking at my hunger bar right now, it is actually a serious risk that I might die of hunger while trying to fight Chaser. There we go, Efron's Gaze. And now, I'm going to make a quick stop for food. Uh, I learned my lesson since last time. I, one time I was doing a layer 2 run on base sword. I didn't even die to Efron, I died to hunger. Hmm, man, this game is up. Alright guys, I got my food. I'll be honest, I didn't get it myself, I just called a freshy slot over. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it like a service, Freshy Eats, down in the depths. Well anyways, let's pick up where we last were. Five minutes later. And now, we are back where we left off. By the way, if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I just woke up a while earlier. Also check it out, they dropped the update. And now the inventory is all weird. Well, I wouldn't say weird, more like, changed, I guess. It is a pretty nice change. Well anyways, just make our way over to Chaser right now. Ow. I hate it when you dodge on time, but because of latency, you get hit anyways, and your character just goes flying. Let me just, uh... Wait, does that screw up my chains of perfection? Because, like, he technically hit me with his uh, little thingy. If that does, I'm gonna be a bit annoyed. Windblade. Did I hit him? No, it didn't. Wait, I'm on the wrong one. Ah, oh, crap. Can I hit this from here? Oh, come on, Windblade. Wimbley doesn't even hit the thing, that's so annoying. You know, I was looking at some of my old videos, and I realized, like, in a bunch of them, I recorded them, like, as soon as I got up, with, like, no regard for how my voice sounded, and they all sound so goofy. Oh, crap, I just screwed up here into perfection. Alright, maybe I need to stop yapping. I'm just gonna guess the explosion screwed me up anyway, so it doesn't really matter now. Are they ever gonna change this stupid move? Like, let's be honest, who fights the roof spikes and think, yeah, this is a great, like, gameplay feature? Just hold block- ah! Hold block and cower at the side of the room. Well, Chains of Perfection is long gone. Maybe I should have done it before the progression started so that I could, you know, um, get it power too. Fine cutter. Boom. Boom. Strong left. Reinforce. Ah. I'm gonna use this run to gauge how long I have before he does his event thing so I can avoid it every time. I'm not sure if I should use bullets for this since, like, it's Chaser, bro. 
Also, I should have probably like walked up to him and done that. I, I, all right, that might have been a kind of a dumb move. Oh, never mind. He's dead. All right, I'm just gonna sit up here. I can tank this. There we go. Mercy kill. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, Providence form warden ceremonial two stone. Oops, that's the wrong one. All right, hold on. That <laughs> if I was playing uh, if I was playing like medium right now, this would be pretty cool. But I guess I'll just give it to another slot. Alright, I'm gonna put on this Iron Singer heavy plate. Ooh, 16 HP Iron Singer. I'll put that on. Kira's Ring. Which one's Prophets? Charisma. <laughs> I have no Charisma, dude. Well, anyways, I'm gonna give it a try or two more for Chains of Perfection. This time, I'm just gonna no commentary lock in. Oh my. Yo, this section more lethal than Chaser, bro. Chaser got me down to three bars over like the span of 10 minutes. These guys did it in two seconds. But this time, I'm not letting Chaser get me down any health. All right, here we go. Woo. Okay, that I don't know why I blocked that, but I was dangerously close to breaking my posture. No! Ah, dude, I forgot I was supposed to block that. Okay, I really hope that doesn't screw it up for me. Yeah, I got the timing down, but I just forgot to do it for the last one. No! Ah, crap. Well, there goes Chains of Perfection. Oh. It seems Windblade can hit him even though he's like up there. Oh, and here we go. Wait, hold on. I just realized, does this count for Chains of Perfection? That's gonna be so stupid if this counts. I might just swap to Prima Don if it does. Alright, got some more gems. Three star Vagabond's Bicorn. Alright, we should have gotten a lot of XP from those two chaser runs. Oh, Master Gale Breaver. There we go. Oh, armor piercing. That's the new talent. Your gun attacks now ignore 20% of an opponent's physical armor. Applied multi multipli okay. multiplicatively before pen is applied. That is pretty good. Move on to rapid reload. Take wind step. Oh, I think I have to take Haunted Gale if I want to get like the thing. If I want to get Spectre. Man, it would be so useful if this wasn't a medium weapon and I could equip it to use it for a Prima Don and get Chains of Perfection that way. What should I do? What should I do? Alright, I have a plan. I'm gonna try and get Provenance Forns from uh, Gale Wax and see if I can go fight Prima Don later. Grab the Gale Wax. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Do Union Hooks not have a down option? Alright, we got our four Gale Wax right here. Let's light up these candles. There we go. Alright. Please, Providence Form. Nope, that's not it. Prov- OH! I actually got it! Oh, that- I did not expect that to actually work. Curse of Bloodthirsty? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> what are the chances of that? I, I was going down here as like a bit of like a last resort type of move, but we actually got it. Alright, time to go beat Chaser. I just gotta do my best to not screw up this run. Woo! Oh my. I did not expect Gale Leap to activate there. You know, I wonder why they don't put any like exclusive layer 2 ores down here. I mean, it seems like it would be a perfect way to do like end game resources. Oh wow, Bloodless. A bloodless and an Iron Singer in just a regular chest. I mean, that's gotta be decently rare. You know, I just noticed. This Megalodon Slayer quest still has not gone away. Like, I expected it to go away once I leveled up and got, like, an extra trait hand because of it, but no, it's just- it's still here. Uh, get that out of here. Ooh, move stack. I forgot that existed. I thought they patched it out. Oh, he's sideways. He's sideways. Oh, here we go. Yeah, if I was actually doing Chaser Chains of Perfection, there's no way I was just gonna, like, immediately guess that he was gonna start dying and not get hit by this. Ooh, ah! Okay, maybe I could have reacted to that one. Let's go. Providence Forns. Alright. Oh! Hey, wait. I can, I can actually use this one. This one's a rapier. Wait, no. It's a dagger. Oh, nice. Imagine if it was Providence Forns, though. That would be funny. Alright. It's time. Providence Forns Revolver. How does that look? Eh, not that bad. Looks a little cartoony, though. Well, let's be honest. We're in a game with, like, Roblox Lego characters. <laughs> Alright, well, the good thing about having to do all that is that we got a bunch of XP and Bell Prog from it. I could probably get myself to the next level now. Hey, one at a time, bro. You know, I feel like if they add Mechalodons to the depths, the amount of Void depths would just double because of their delayed kick. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have to fight Enforcer now, so let me put on the Guard Breaker. Hello, Enforcer. You guys ever noticed, like, the Enforcer's... Parrying and blocking animations are just gone. There we go. 
All right, let's go ahead and re-equip my gun. Before I level up, I'm going to use the Mystic so I can guarantee myself Spectre. Wow, <laughs> I wonder which one it is. There we go. Haunted Path Spectre. Ooh, stifle jump. How does that work if I take Spectre, though? Spectre, I finally have it. Apparitions. Instead of haunted gale phantoms, each proc will now send an apparition towards your enemy. These apparitions apply winded where suffocate would suffice. That means it just replace suffocation. Okay. Apparitions cannot be parried if you're in phantom step. Not quite sure what that means, but you know, no problem. Pretend I do. Oh, I really want to take breathing exercise, but I, ugh, everything here is so useful. Like, everything here is necessary. Astral Wind. Easy choice. And I have no mantra slots. Alright, well, we have Spectre Path now, so this is white. Hey, it actually goes pretty well with my uh, Providence Forge guns. White. Everything here is just white now. Well, I can't really see that one, but <laughs> what are we, like 20 minutes into the into the last episode and we finally got the thing that's in the name? In the name of the progression? Nice that I spawned here. I can upgrade my Astral Wind now. Oh, I learned what I can from training right now. Dude, I spawned like three chasers. I guess the XP from that finally ran out. Put on my Blood Feather Mask. Oh, no. Okay, I wanted the Blood Feather Mask for the 5% Shadow Armor just, just to really min-max it. But I forgot I don't have it like <laughs> toggled off. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of gems that I haven't put on my moves. Alright, Astral Wind will get Bloodless. Gale Lunge, I'll put a blue gem, why not? Wind Blade. Yeah, wayward. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off so my Bloodless is in here. <laughs> they each take up one slot? Okay then. Whatever, I wasn't really using much of these anyways. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh! I didn't even notice this. New bar right here. 0% Spectre. Spectral. Yeah. I'm guessing I have to hit people with my moves to gain that. Actually, I didn't really read the description for Spectre too closely. I should probably do that. Spectre. Build up Spectral Energy by performing successful dodges and landing wind mantras. Phantom winds from Haunted Gale no longer appear. You can no longer suffocate enemies. Okay. So, no suffocation. And now I, I have like spectral energy for something. I probably have to get like talents to unlock the rest of the stuff. Alright, well, time to go fight Prima Dawn. No, I kind of want to take a break. You know, I kind of want to take a break from the PvE for now. Blue, it's a Toki. You know, I'm not very conspicuous with my very bright glowing like <laughs> setup. Oh, Void Spire, that's going to be interesting. Alright, that pressure blast just did half a bar. Wayward. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, cool. Whoa, what the? This guy got wind up. Throw him. Astral Wind. And oh, there was the Spectres. Alright. Not gonna hit that one, bro. Oh, come on, Bandits right now? You got Instagram, you can do that. Bang. Bang. that Terry I don't really like the just the black and white of it all makes it kind of hard to see but whatever oh hello there's another guy here now we are just ganking this guy bro I don't know why this guy is here he, he doesn't seem to be a void walker either random what what does that mean Alright, kind of sucks I didn't get to do that bounty, but I think I have a theory of what was going on there. So the guy I was fighting right probably gripped that guy's freshie slot since he was at Aresia. And then I hopped in, try and get his bounty, and then the freshie spun back on his max level slot and then gripped him afterwards. And that's why he called him a random. Well, that's my theory anyways, I have no idea if it's true. Well, that was interesting to say the least, but I had my PvP dosage. Let's head over to Prima Dawn. Oh, they're going on a full-on gank over there. I think I was right. <laughs> Open sesame. Why is this door closed? Well, looks like I gotta join a new server. We have arrived at Monkey's Paw. Even though I have prob now, it's probably still going to be a bit difficult since I am running light weapons. What does this do, like 25.7 damage? I suppose it's decent. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat a mushroom omelet real quick. This might take me a couple tries. Hello, Prima Dawn. Oh, come on. Already got hit. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to like his legs yet. I'm too used to doing this with ghost builds. <laughs> when I roll once, I'm just uh, oh wow. Okay, I actually need to lock in. Never mind.
All right, I basically just perfect the prima donna as soon as I was done getting absolutely beat at the start. Yeah, I think I can definitely handle this change of perfection run. All right, guys, time for a prima don loop opening video. I used to do this like a while, while back. Three star starduster. Wow, that's kind of mid. Actually, wait, no, this is better than what I have. <laughs> it is. Ooh, physical armor, I'll take that. Come on, give me a 20 HP boot. Eh, kind of mid. I'm hoping I can get better HP arms and boots from this. Mine are kind of suboptimal right now. Round two. This time, I'm just gonna Windblade Wayward to get over to him. Woo! Okay, cool. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, I screwed it up again. It's only the single stop that gets me because I, I keep blocking too early. Okay, now, now that was just lag. Is it just me or, or do you guys think the rage mode prima donna is actually a bit easier? Because the stomp is just so much faster. Like, you see the little single stomp. Yeah, it, you see it and then you press F. It's, it's simple. If you're doing like the normal mode, you kind of have to like have a good sense of timing. I gotta wait half a second until I hit the F key. If you press it like... A hundredth millisecond too early, boom, your guard broken, it's over for you. Maybe I should get a shield. That might help me not get guard broken by it. But then again, I would <laughs> I would have to use like the genuine single gun. There we go. Welcome back to Burbingish Unboxes. I just want some 20 HP boots. Oh, 21 HP boots. Beautiful. Three star Imperial. And the 13 HP Cataclysm of uh whatever it's called. God's yeah, pendant. Alright, hold on. This one's actually pretty good. <laughs> 26 HP boots. <laughs> We're getting kitted out today. Bird times the charm. Oh, it's so weird getting used to like slower Prima Don after beating him once. Five minutes later. Ooh, phase two, no damage. Hey, let's go. Chains of perfection. Bird times the charm. I told you. Nothing really all that special right now. Let me check this. Some gems. Not bad. I got some pretty good boots out of these Prima Dons. And I should have a bunch of Gale Breath XP by now. I've hit a wall in my training. Oh, I gotta go uh, beat a boss, don't I? Didn't they change it to be automatically unlocked? Or was that only like attribute on caps? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and refill on some food. And then I'm gonna head down to layer 2. It's time to go and get Don Walker. I'll be back, Clarice. Ow. I wonder how fast fighting Bonekeeper will be now that I have a uh, Chains of Perfection. Come here. Woo. Starting off immediately with your unparryable. I got a little ring of chains above my head now. Alright, not anymore. Every time I stop talking, I become 50% worse at parrying. Oh wow, that was incredibly fast. I wonder if Chaser is going to be that fast. Speaking of Chaser, I'm going to put on this ring of pestilence because I hear it makes your uh, things faster. And by thing faster, I mean uh, Chaser heals and the ring of pestilence should reduce that healing. Well, I kind of want to put on the Rosen's ring just because, you know, gunslinger. Let's see, moon ring? Yeah, I'll replace that. I'm not that old yet. I don't need no moon ring. Doesn't really matter whether I have the Rosen's ring or not since I have zero intel. Oh no, <laughs> I don't have any destruction moves. Now I actually have to hit this. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I'll just replace that for now. There we go. Bad news is it removed my Wayward Gem, but let's be honest, I wasn't gonna Wayward Gem against Efron anyways. Ah. Yo, relax. Oh nah, this guy is summoning Maximum Uzumaki. Alright, Chaser. Okay, Chains of Perfection should make this much faster. Does that get rid of my stacks? Okay, getting hit by that definitely gets rid of my stacks. I just lost my Chaser muscle memory for a second. This dude was a bit <laughs> indecisive about whether he wants to fall down or not. Oh, here we go. Oh, Gale Breath Unbound. 16 HP, 15 HP. Alright, I guess we just go in now. Alright, let's go. First Lantern. Alright, so I need to get 30 medallions to at least unlock Dawnwalker. But then I need more medallions if I want to get the moves. And if I'm going to be honest, the only moves that I really want, well, only move that I really want is Radiant Kick. Probably top three mantras in the game. And that's after it's nerfed. On release, this thing could hit from like a mile away. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I guess they just don't care. <laughs> just drop down here. All right. One, two, one, two, 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 one, two, three. All right. So that first bit is pretty easy. The rest is just a bunch of random ones. One, two. And then this one should be the three. We've three. And then this should be the last one. Hello, Dr. Carry on. It's do or wipe down here. Is there like lore of how they can like x-ray and see me through walls? Like, how are they shooting at me right now? Lantern. That's the second one. Oh, connection severed. Now it's actually do or wipe. Three. Now I gotta escape the invisible monsters. <laughs> I hit one. I just realized I have like 36 knowledge from all those like chasers and prima dons. Can't really do much of them though. Ooh, that's a lot of medallions. They really buffed up the medallions since last time I played. 10 medallions from one chest is crazy. <laughs> if both of these two chests also have 10, I might just have Don Walker right there. This is so much more generous than before. Hi, right, hold up, guys. <laughs> yes, chest protect me. Grab this one. Alright, so those ones didn't have 10. I am at a total of 26, which is not bad at all. I wish I had, like, dash or something. Ow, what the... Oh, if there was, like, a mantra that lets you Spider-Man around, this would be so cool. Like, imagine if Lightning Stream attached that onto the side of a building. Much better mobility mantra idea than just playing Lightning Assault. But I don't mind that one either. Alright, we are at a total of 43 medallions. If I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue how much we need for Radiant Kick. Wait, is this one a trap building? Oh, yep, it is. <laughs> Alright, looks like my intuition kicked in at the right time. They make it so that there's like more medallions in each chest, but less chests. Because I'm not seeing a lot. Alright, well, I'll take... I'll take 43 medallions. That'll at least get me Dawn Walker. And maybe Radiant Kick if I'm lucky. Here we go. Let me just, uh, grab one of these. Okay, I'm really hoping that since I don't have ghosts, it's still gonna be fine. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's that still scraped me a little bit. Oh, I should have got some like safety dance or something, bruh. Alright, hold on, Efron. Give me a second here. Get my gale breath up. Oh. Alright. Maybe maybe later. Oh, what? The other altar is all the way over there? Ah oh, crap. Gale lunge. Okay, no that I shouldn't try that. My armor is running pretty low, but there's a reason why I brought Okay, this is really loud. There's a reason why I brought what, like, armor repair kits. Is there a way I can just completely avoid damage? Oh wait, no, no, no. I can do like the little always AFK trick. Oh, or I could just do that. Maybe my timing was just off for the last one. Oh, come on! Can I get a refund? Where's this next one? Oh wait, no, the, the next floor opened. Wait, no. Give me that. Guessed it. I completely guessed that parry timing. Screw you, Efron. I'm not quite sure when I should replenish my armor, but I don't plan on getting hit by him, so it doesn't matter. Maybe I should have won 40 agility. Ah, okay, that hurts. Oh, hello. Yeah, I did need a health pack. Thank you, Efron. Boink. Hey, what? Oh, okay. Alright, if he stayed up there, I was going to be mad. But now I gotta get over there. Gah, chains of perfection time. Alright. Oh, you want to get hit more? Okay. And there we go, first floor done. Now I gotta get the other floors. Ah, no, bone waves, I hate bone waves. <laughs> bone waves is the worst mechanic out of the Efron. Ow. That was a whole chunk gone. Alright, maybe I was kidding about that not getting hit part. There we go. Yeah, I think that's Efron, yeah. How are we even killing this guy by just hitting his hands? Uh oh Woo! Oh my goodness, that was a little... A little close. Imagine this without Chains of Perfection. This was... <laughs> this would have taken even longer. Yo, I wanna get up and take a walk right now, bro. I've been sitting for a while now. Alright, please don't activate Bone... Oh, okay, he activated Bone Wings. Not bone wings, bone waves. <laughs> Bro, 
Relax, holy crap. I need to get out of here. Oh crap, I hate bone waves. You know worse, please. Oh my goodness, bro. All right, that was a little too close. Archmage, remove bone waves, please. They're so stupid. What is even the point of them? Just to keep you off the stupid floor? They don't got no indicator, no nothing, bro. They're just here to annoy people. Holy crap, there's three of them here. No! Oh my... Bell... What the hell? There's bone waves on floor... On, like, the second layer. Holy crap. I hate bone waves. So much. Oh my goodness. What did I get? Wind up resurrection. Portals. Uh, I'll take portals. Yep. Portals was not a bad choice. <laughs> Come on, Efron. Please. No way, bro. His little ultimate attack just became incredibly easy to avoid. Last time I fought Efron, he didn't pull out bone waves once, and now he hit me with a double bone waves, bro. I don't mind these bone waves. Since, like, you actually get an indicator for them. The other ones, they just show up. <laughs> Why can't we have the last bone be at this altar, man? I don't have to make the entire sprint across the map. Oh, finally. Screw you, bro. Woo. Gotta get out of here now. What's in here? Holy crap. The most mid crap ever. Uh, Alright, I don't even care about the gems anymore. Actually, I never cared about the gems. I could just fight Prima Dawn. And I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was a little closer than I expected, but now we have 43 medallions. Clarice, know anything about this? All right, let's see. Secrets of Radiant Magic, 30 medallions. Hmm, perhaps you have the potential, child. Do you swear to carry the light as a weapon against the deep? To wield the song only as a radiant, as a radiant blade against... Do, uh, against I can't read, bro. As a radiant blade against that which it be beckons, I vow it. Oh, and it gave me Blinding Dawn to start with. All right, we got Dawnwalker. This is a very, like, glowing white build, including Spectre. This is just the neon white build. Let's see. Oh, come on. Two medallions off from, like, another move. All right, that should have netted us a bunch of XP. Yo, breath 80. Lock that. Time to get my light weapons up. There we go. Just Karita talents. I don't need just Karita talents. All right, I'm gonna move freeze onto lock and load, and then I'll take inhale, rapid reload. Oh, oh, rising wind, of course. All right, good thing is that I now have actual mantra slots. I can now have a reasonable amount of mantras. Can I? Can I like convert some of my knowledge to medallions, please? Like I am so close. Oh, I just realized this really is the neon white build. We got Prov, Dawnwalker. Spectre and Yoru. Everything about this is neon white. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer two run. Except this time I have my buddy with a heavy slot because that, that last one took way too damn long. Introduce yourself. Uh, Alright. I think the crowd knows me. They know me enough. Who is I'm this guy, bro? Who slot. is this guy? Honestly, just let me get like three medallions. I just need hair dyes. Oh, okay. Maybe you need a moon ring first. Oh, what are you doing? Take the shortcut, buddy. Ah! I'm, I'm gonna have to like speed run the editing on this video because it has to come out tomorrow, bro. Like I got held up from spin cleaning and my schedule is horrendous. I don't like this build. You're pure white and I'm pure black. <laughs> so you can be my angle or your devil. Wait, crap. No, that's not how it goes. I would wind blade this one up here, but it just doesn't work. I got the funny go. Ow. Okay, buddy. I gotta get a studio this real quick. Oh, wow, that was quick. Oh, yeah, we love invulnerability. Oh, nothing good. I'll take the moonlit earrings, though. All right, ready? Boom. <laughs> That's good. Six minutes. Yeah, we did that. What? Kenneth? Kenneth is down there. here. Kenneth, is that you? you? Know? Yeah, he's there. I didn't know that, bruh. I don't think I ever went over here, so I, did, I didn't even notice him. I'm about, to, I'm about to lock in. And if I really needed to, I'll just have to upload it tomorrow and release it somewhere in the afternoon after getting it done in the morning. Honestly, don't. Because I I feel like a lot of your fans aren't going to watch it because of the Super Bowl. Yo, the strat is real. I'm going to put Super Bowl into the tags of my video. <laughs> Wait. Placed. Go, go, go. Let's go. You go left, I go right. Oh, we got like 3% extra damage from that. 
Hey, see, told you, two cycle. Anything good in there? Uh. No. I made it out alive. Well. Now I can say the same. Alright guys, I got a crap ton of medallions. And it's time for me to max out Dawn Walker. Radiant Kick. Get rid of Blinding Dawn, there we go. Enhance. What is this? Windblade. Radiant Dawn. Oh, this is the one that's like really annoying. I guess I'll put that right here and I can put Reinforce right here. Luminous Flash. Oh, Black Flash. Jujutsu Kaisen reference, bruh. One more time. Oh. No, that's all you know. Okay. I guess with the rest of this, I'm going to get at least one die. One equipment die. Because you see this like on the edge? Like my Kanor markings are blue even though I have the white eyes. So let me change that real quick. Kanor markings. White. Submit. Okay, that, <laughs> okay, that looked a little, little weirder than I expected. Maybe I'll just toggle off the markings, I don't know. I'll die my bell though. Resonant spell. Boom. White bell, look at that. Do they have a barber down here? Uh, change my face markings. Uh, how do I turn it off? There we go. <laughs> now look at this. Shiny, shiny white character. I would dye the hair white, but that would just look kind of ugly at that point. <laughs> that, that would just be a bit too overkill. There we go. Power 20. Uh, Phantom Step. Oh, Possession. Okay. Press X to begin running at high speeds, and your regular dashes transform into Gale dashes. Must have at least 10% Spectre Gauge, and Dodging Attack will send an Apparition towards your attacker. Must be above 50% Spectre Gauge. Alright, uh, I will freeze that, and take this. Silencer's Blade. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take that. Oh. Whoa, uh, now this is gonna be this this kind of sucks i'm gonna have to use some of my 39 knowledge to start swapping out cards i'll take world wild song i guess and i can also roll two hope i get the stuff out oh yep that's good please element oh and i'll take it i'll take maestro's blade that's good that's good i'm definitely gonna have to try and chance this a little bit now that i'm back on the surface time to do a couple last minute things bloodless on this i guess i'll put a blue gem on that upgrade these let me re-roll Champion's Regalia. Elemental Rebound, please. Oh, none of these are Elemental Rebound, but uh... Aerial Attacks while in Phantom Steps will now teleport you behind your target. That's pretty cool. I still need Elemental Rebound though, so I'm gonna see what other rare talents I can sacrifice. Grand Support for Reinforce. Reinforce got like nerfed hella. I'm probably gonna get rid of that actually. Goodbye Grand Support. Wait, Strong Stern. Hey, whatever. Goodbye, Grand Support. You were goaded, but then you were not. Elemental Rebound, let's go. Wolverine's Claw would be nice, actually. And this build is officially maxed. Check it out. My gun now does 31.7 damage, and I'm at 488 HP. A Hab Adaset. Usually I don't go ganking at the end of progressions, but I actually quite like this build. There you are. Let's go. Oh, we, we got two of them, huh? I forgot to modify my Astral Wind, so this is gonna kinda suck. Boom! No, you can't just run away. Catch him with that. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Hit him with that. Oop. Like that. Bah! Radiant Dawn. Astral. Didn't hit that sadly. Whoops. That kind of missed. Gale Lunge. Catch him with that. No, I didn't hit it. Ah, that's a... Come here. <laughs> Did you just hit your teammate? No, come back here, buddy. Let me Radiant Dawn these guys real quick. Come back, bro. 
Ah, he resurrected himself, but I got a health pack though. Whoops. Radiant Dawn. Astral Wind. Do that. Ah, oh, man. Inhale. Boom. Alright, this ain't this ain't really good all that. This ain't really all that good right now. I'm gonna need a health pack soon. Woo. Good thing I got Yoru to get out of there. I feel I'm still a bit rusty from like the three month long break. So I really gotta get back in my groove, you know. Hey, come here. <laughs> I completely screwed up that opening. Come here. Missed that. Ooh, wow, he does a he does a bar with that. Ooh, missed. Doink. Get you like that. That's Get out of my way, Nomad. Alright, come here. What are you doing, bro? Are you trying to get a campfire up? Yeah, come here. Radiant Dawn. Ooh. Hit you. Ooh, and he's down. Oh my god, did you see that combo? He got back up again, though. Come on, no, get back down. Dude, this guy just gets back up immediately. Astral Wind. No, this guy stopped getting back up. Woo! And I'm out of here. Oh, I'm done. Hey, Amen. Come on, let's go. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Gun M ones are pretty hard to parry. Whew. That almost threw me off there. What is this lag? Oh, I was trying to do the classic r uppercut into rising wind combo. It didn't work. Ooh, that totally should have hit. Ooh. Oh, I always wanted to hit that combo. And what? He lived that. Boom. And get rid of that guy. GG's. Pop. This build p feels pretty good to play, I'm just gonna say. Alright, and that's gonna be the end of the Gunslinger progression. If you watched this far into the video and you're new here, consider subscribing. And yeah, new video hopefully next week. My schedule's fixed now. Okay, bye-bye.